good afternoon and namaste to all welcome you all to the 33rd combined monthly meeting in english on universal human values so today's keynote session is on the topic entrepreneurship for societal development the session will be handled by dr vanjana singh didi namaste welcome and over to you didi for the session namaste didi namaste to all our participants over here so today we all are over here to discuss about entrepreneurship for societal development uh, this word entrepreneurship is the word which we hear nowadays everywhere in our own institutes our organizations educational institutes at the level of state at the level of nation worldwide this this word is holding a lot of significance now we are looking at this word entrepreneurship in context with how we can actually work to ensure our contribution towards our own process of self development and eventually the societal development so as we every time take up various proposals and we explore them together today also we are taking up these proposals for ourselves and together all of us are going to look at each of these proposals and try to validate verify in our own living every time we look at our own levels of being starting from individual to family to society and this whole nature and existence this harmony is the key word bhaiya was also talking about happiness harmony right now whenever we look at the society the society which we look forward to is the society which is working together for these comprehensive goals these are the comprehensive goals starting from right understanding right feeling at the level of every individual where every individual is able to be in a state of resolution ensuring prosperity in every family fearlessness at the level of society and coexistence in this whole nature and existence in fact when we started initially our journey from uhv1 we all have looked at these comprehensive goals together and we have explored this for ourselves together that are all four goals required right we have asked this question to ourselves many times that to ensure harmony at the level of society what what kind of vision we want to keep all of us working together for these comprehensive human goals or we envision a society where people will have different goals what is it that we look forward to and we have discussed the dimensions on which one needs to work just like bhaiya was mentioning raju bhaiya was mentioning about the system which we want to work for so that we all can together contribute towards value based education the humane education so the education sanskar forms the foundational system 
a human education sanskar a human education process will ensure that each one of us works towards ensuring this right understanding right feeling at the level of every individual which is the foundation which is the base goal as we all see right with with this we all have been exploring it together at least now that we are here in this monthly meeting and every week we are discussing some or the other content amongst ourselves we all are looking forward to this that this these goals are so interconnected when we have this goal one accomplished which means when we work towards ensuring that every individual works towards right understanding right feeling it ensures that we are progressing towards our second goal that is ensuring prosperity in every family because within the family all the members of the family will be able to ensure the assessment of the need with this right understanding will be able to ensure the right feeling in relationship so with one we look forward to accomplishment of two with more and more families able to work towards accomplishment of two we all through one two two we all move towards a society which ensures this feeling of trust and further at the level of nature and existence when we work towards ensuring that every individual through the process of human education sanskar is ensuring this right understanding right feeling ensuring prosperity at the level of family whatever we need we are able to rightly decide that with this right understanding we are able to utilize the physical facility taking care of our needs as well as enrichment of this whole nature so we work towards the fourth goal so these five dimensions we all have been discussing it how the education sanskar plays the role of the foundational system and the other four dimensions like when we work for this health self regulation when we work for production work we are working towards ensuring prosperity at the level of every family and eventually towards this coexistence at the level of nature and existence when we work for justice preservation when we work on this human or this dimension of the human order with justice ensured in every family right we we move towards this fearlessness at the level of society with with preservation enrichment at the level of nature and existence we are working towards our goal four so these are the dimensions which one needs to strengthen when we are looking forward to setting up the human tradition which continues one generation after the other right setting that wheel right and the entry point to that wheel is the human education process which we all are together now as volunteers we are associated with it we we are trying to put in our effort so through this we all are working towards ensuring that every next generation is able to initiate that transformation that progress more and more swiftly more and more with more and more clarity generation after generation right taking ourselves from these assumptions 
we start looking at the reality as it is and that's what we all together are working for that we start taking this shift from the focus on entirely the physical facility where we are caught up in this loop where we are governed by some gross misunderstandings and are trapped in this whole loop of accumulating obsession for some kind of over consumption profit sensual pleasures it all these we want to through the process of education and we all see that only education has this possibility of bringing this shift if we look at ourselves as human beings each one of us can ensure this process of transformation for ourselves and we keep looking at it every now and then and keep asking this question is this transformation desirable for me is it desirable for each one of us right i i'll ask this once again for each one of us to explore and reflect right so is this transformation desirable and can we really ensure that together all of us work towards this transformation right when we are doing it single handedly probably the journey will appear to be so difficult but when we hold hands together just like right now we just see week after week we all are holding hands for each other and in this process of holding hands we are taking our journey with more and more strength within ourselves making this transformation possible for ourselves we we all are looking forward to getting this state of awareness within us where we can set the right priority neglecting nothing but prioritizing it with the right understanding living with human consciousness what do you say in fact since it is going to be an interactive session for all of us if you can raise hand and put up whatever you feel like we can provide you with the mic so when we talk about this universal human order which means we are working with this clarity of the human goals and we are ensuring strengthening of these dimensions so that starting from the individual level initiating it for the family right moving from family to family clusters to village village clusters nation and ultimately the world family so that each one of us through this process of human education is able to ensure working towards these comprehensive set of goals now with with this holistic view now we want to look at entrepreneurship right something which we keep talking about every now and then especially that all of us are directly linked to the process of education we we all together over here almost every one of us is engaged directly with our students and every day we we are introducing this word to our students right and it is these students only which in another couple of years are going to take up various roles and responsibilities so now let us understand with this holistic perspective what do we mean by entrepreneurship can we actually think of societal entrepreneurship and what is all that is needed to be an entrepreneur is it something which only few people can do is it something that is doable for each one of us are we really capable of making this observation for ourselves 
that whatever we are collectively doing together is an entrepreneurship because this entrepreneurship is a sincere effort taken to fulfill the human goals when i have this clarity within me about the comprehensive human goals i am aware of it and i start taking steps towards it whatever little whatever i am capable of in my capacity at this moment this this word entrepreneurship has been defined in a number of ways so let us keep things open for us right one of the french economist has put entrepreneur as a person who undertakes an idea and shifts the perspective in such a way that it alters the effect that an idea has on the society which means the idea propagates down to every level and it becomes a way of living it starts shaping the society that way and that is what is an entrepreneur did you from your definition will it be right to call all our co explorers as entrepreneurs did you see that's what we would like to explore for ourselves so that we can see the extension of all what we are doing together mm mm so so let's keep that as an open proposal for ourselves and let us check are we able to put up an idea so that it can bring an effective shift within the society right we all are talking about societal entrepreneurship we are looking out for social projects right we want engineers who will work for society we want doctors who will be contributing towards society we want politicians who would like to work for the society upliftment right or at the back of it what is the view point that we want mm. to carry forward right and and that's mm. why we need to be open to look at what an entrepreneur is mm mm what is our own capacity mm so let's keep it open for us and let us keep exploring it for ourselves will it be fine ah uh, ji didi and uh, didi one last one uh, previously i was thinking it was connected only with the business people who are doing business but now i can relate to ji very nice didi in fact we are putting it as proposals for each one of us to explore and then mm. that exploration within us can give us enough of creative ideas and we can ji, see didi. how with this look when i look at my own state maybe some 5 7 years down the line i had a certain perspective and with that mm. perspective with that vision what i had at that point of time i was looking at few things in my own way right so maybe mm. i i was trained with physics as my background right but now mm -hmm. what i see is that i have that background of whatever subject expertise whatever i have but now with the mm. holistic perspective i have acquired it is enabling me to put things to much more use mm. in a broader perspective and i can mm. feel mm. that that idea that shift within me right if i am able to communicate it to the other i am an entrepreneur mm. Mm. so ji didi di. thank you so much ji nice we all are exploring it together and since all of us together over here are open to the proposals and we are taking these proposals for ourselves so with with a holistic perspective we are looking at what entrepreneurship is and trying to understand it for ourselves with the clarity of proposals whatever we have at this moment so this this definition of an entrepreneur as defined by this french economist we are just taking that as a reference for our own understanding and trying to look at what we understand as our own process of development right we we all want to develop ourselves we all want to develop our surroundings so let us look at the various stages of development which we are 
ensuring for our own journey this transformation that we are looking forward to this transformation from the animal consciousness to human consciousness now the uh, is it only enough to provide a new idea can be implemented or there is the need of implementation too thank you yeah we are we are taking this discussion forward so that we can really understand that only idea or we need to do more so we'll just move ahead and then we'll come back to this will that be fine yeah so nice so nice okay thank see, you see this is very important right because when we say that if you look at the statement right this entrepreneurship is a sincere effort now this word sincere effort requires an effort with full sincerity to work towards accomplishment of the goals so without effort i cannot talk of the idea and that's what we all are looking at so when i look at my own process of development can i really work towards any process of development if i have not initiated at my own because when we look at the comprehensive goals also right the process starts from right understanding right feeling at the level of individual right so so the beginning is with the process of self development and all of us are initiating this process for ourselves namaste didi वर्क बिकॉजर i think that's that is the starting point so we have kind of done something very so similar we have identified that is uh, some uh, education sanskar the gap that we have figured out and then we are working individually to develop ourselves and then uh, develop the team and develop the society so didi one more small thing i would say before i close uh, i usually teach corporate governance and things like that so um in my institution wanted me to take some other paper they didn't know uh, because i'm not a basically management full time management person so they said teach entrepreneurship so i had to learn i said you have made me an entrepreneur because i don't even know anything and i had to read everything and teach so even housewives at homes at homes sometimes elders everybody behaves like an entrepreneur no they'll see the gap kuch zarurat hai then how to go about rural people there are so many entrepreneurs in the uh, rural areas who are uh, in their fields they are creating so many small small things uh, to uh, to support their farming so this is a beautiful very, very uh, really true. in yeah. fact if we look at the whole traditional wisdom that we have acquired right we can just yeah. just have a deeper look into it to realize that how that traditional wisdom which we have acquired over centuries mm -hmm. generation after generation yes. right that that has led to making our lives much more fulfilling yes sir. much more uh, cherishable for each one of us yes, with, with whatever we have been able to reach at this particular stage whatever we are utilizing mm -hmm. now in terms of uh, the facilities available and all that which is coming through the contribution which is coming over so many generations generations yes so now maybe we are talking at this level this current word but if we just try to trace back this yes. idea which is affecting the society eventually and so much integral part of our life i think this is yes and and that's what we need to appreciate and that's what we need to understand also what entrepreneurs are so that we can really recognize yes. and appreciate what is happening around us yes <laughs> thank very you so much for the wonderful thing. thank you very nice. so 
when we look at our own process of development we start from the individual that is the process of self development with this process of self development just like over here also we all are connected together and we are exploring these proposals for ourselves working on ourselves and together as a team we are working towards team development and eventually we can just see these efforts eventually leading to a process of societal development which we are seeing happening around us now that we we just see uh, the the list bhaiya showed where the institutes are taking up their own responsibility for self funded workshops right something which one could not think of some few years back right every time there was a need for some kind of a faculty development program somebody has to put it as an external grant or something but now we see the institutes taking up this responsibility and who are constituting these institutes it is that right team over there available right through the process of self development we work towards team development we eventually contribute towards societal development and we see all this happening around us it is it is not that one person is doing it other person is not doing it it we just see how things are translating for us together how are we initiating so now let us get some clarity about what what exactly an entrepreneur would have as a mindset right at as at the core of it how can we actually look at a thorough entrepreneur so uh, the the discussion is with the background of uhv and there is this talk by mr deepak bajaj which we have referred to but this is an open talk which everyone can refer and we are trying to look at all these with the holistic perspective with the comprehensive human goals so these are the seven key points which have been put forward in that discussion by deepak bajaj ji and uh, we are not saying that whatever is coming we are agreeing to that or something it is just open but what we are trying to look at is these key points with the background of the various proposals we have through uhv so we are exploring all these one after the other trying to understand how as a process of self development team development and societal development we all as entrepreneurs can work for ourselves so that we contribute towards societal development right we 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 can just see different people working in different directions ngos schools educational institutes let us see can we have a coherent system where we all can discuss together we all can work together right so let us look at each of these key points so when we say that i have an entrepreneur mindset or you have an entrepreneur mindset or when we are looking at our own students and we want them to initiate this feeling of entrepreneurship this whole feeling of being an entrepreneur right the the first thing that comes is taking absolute ownership of task at hand so whatever task comes to us right we all are volunteers over here so we 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 all would observe this that when we take responsibility right we ensure our participation at each and every level of our being right so if if i'm looking at myself my role at as at the family level right i i take ownership of what i am doing so whatever task is at my hand taking the responsibility and ensuring that the participation is with this responsibility where i don't put any reminders any excuses any complaints for myself 
right? Just like uh, right now, Didi was mentioning that every housewife, right? So much of task one takes, and without any reminders, every day one is taking up those set of tasks without any excuses, right? And as long as there are no complaints, that's where we are ensuring that I take absolute ownership of the task at hand. If, if there are complaints, if there are issues with that, then probably I'm burdened by it. And that's where I would take that task with, with that sense of burden on top of me. So when we say an entrepreneur, as an entrepreneur, I'm ready to take absolute ownership of whatever task that is assigned. Right? In an organization also, let us check out who are the people who are able to take up the task. Right? Who are the people whom we look up to? So over the if if we just look around and find all those who are taking absolute ownership of the task at hand, which means one is able to take the responsibility and is able to ensure the right participation. If, if the task is mine, I don't need any reminders. I don't need any excuses. And there are no complaints from my end. Will that happen or not? So the first key point to be with this entrepreneurship feeling is that I am ready to take that absolute ownership. What do you have to say? We can reflect on it, right? We can just see, are we, are we able to do this? Whatever, wherever we are engaged, whichever task is assigned to, are we able to initiate the task with with this absolute ownership. In fact, um, initially in the beginning, somebody was mentioning that AICT should acknowledge and Bhaiya was also then giving response to that. Right? When, when it is my task, do I need to have some kind of acknowledgements from other end? That is something for us to observe, right? When I when I am taking absolute ownership of the task at hand, and I am ensuring my participation, I am ensuring working towards the comprehensive goals. Do I really need any kind of acknowledgments, accolades? We all need to verify it for ourselves, right? When we say. The, the next key point is that an entrepreneur is ready to take more initiatives. Over here also, right? There, there was this list which was showing that some 1,80,000 people registered. So many people received certificates. So many are active volunteers and so on. Right? This, this volunteering is a sign that I'm ready to take initiatives. I'm ready to work on myself. I, I may not be right now having the skill, but I can work on myself. In fact, so many of us have seen that we have worked on our own skills gradually. Right? In fact, we appreciate so many volunteers who have never done any kind of video editing thing and so on. And in various projects, right, they, they are acquiring new skills for themselves. In fact, in our everyday living also, we see things keep changing, right? So whatever we did some 10 years back, we cannot just rely on that skill. So an entrepreneur needs to volunteer for new, new tasks, needs to take initiatives and develop competence every day we need to look up to that and in fact we find 
so many opportunities for ourselves over here also we are exploring proposals we are looking at our own competence every day we are becoming aware of our state right we 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 can just think of these exercises which we are doing right where we are working to ensure that our competence becomes equal to our potential which means my desire thought expectation i am aware of it every moment can we make that observation that this initiative which i have taken for myself which you have taken for yourself to work on our own process of self development where we are spending time with these exercises if right? we are developing ourselves can we see that ji so now when we look at an entrepreneur right it means as an entrepreneur i'll be doing more much more than what i talk which means promising less but at the end of it delivering more and more and every moment doing right evaluation which is very important because the moment i over or under evaluate myself or the other i no longer am in that state where i am able to ensure this right understanding right feeling within myself so when we say entrepreneurs right we we so whatever task is assigned right let us take that task promising to the limit and trying to deliver much more than what we have promised and evaluating ourselves every moment and sharing as much as is needed another important thing about entrepreneurs is the law of extra which means doing somewhat more than what is expected so maybe in our organization we might be assigned some task now taking that initiative taking that responsibility and following this law of extra which means doing something more than what is expected ensuring regular practice learning new skills by oneself so whatever task comes at my end am i able to i i need to explore am i doing it right i i i want to look out for being an entrepreneur right so am i am i ensuring it for myself that whatever is expected from me i am able to give or deliver a bit extra and that too without any complaints without any reminders without any excuses we all are open to it and we are looking at all these proposals did the regular practice of what did ji so whatever whatever task whatever assignment i have ensured for myself right so for example right now all of us over here we have taken this task of being more and more aware of our own state of imagination mm -hmm. now now if i don't practice it then will i be able to continue it for long no didi so i need to practice it right now what mm. happens at times with us is that we might for do something for some time and then we just end up saying that look i have been doing this for so much of time and i am not able to continue right this or or maybe sometimes we procrastinate things we we shift it to some other deadlines and so many other things right so whatever i am doing at even if i'm mm -hmm. teaching in a class right i may have taught that subject for so many years right but am i updating it on a day to day basis mm -hmm. and only i am working towards being an entrepreneur if if i just 
believe that i have understood everything right as teachers and then every time i go and i deliver whatever i have acquired some 10 years 20 years back i am dealing with the current generation it is this generation right now another 3 4 years down the line will be facing the world at the level of uh, where they are going to really practice whatever skills they have acquired and by the time they'll reach there so many new things will come mm. now are we equipping them if we are not in practice are we really ensuring that they are rightly equipped or we are just limiting ourselves to the limited content which is listed as a syllabus now all that is something which we have to observe in our own living Mm-hmm. Okay, so, thank you. Thank you. When I enter, maybe whatever task I am expected to do, right? So right now that all of us are faculty members and teachers, so we take that example. Different people will have different kind of tasks for themselves. But whatever task, am I putting up some extra effort to it? Am I putting up some extra content to it? Am I ensuring regular practice at my own end? am i enabling myself with learning new skills so that is something which which can facilitate my being an entrepreneur where i can put up an idea and bring it to that level that it works towards bringing a shift at the level of society another key point is to finish what you start right how to finish the task is also very important finding creative ways and creative solutions to accomplish not stopping midway and in fact we have to check when we plan something are we planning it from start to finish for, for example right now we decide to arrange a three day workshop for our own college for our own institute have we planned how are we going to finish it which means what are the tasks we are going to take up once we formally end the workshop at the end of day 3 are we able to submit a feedback report are we able to look at the shortcomings are we able to plan out from the start to the end or somehow we open up multiple channels but we stop midways that is for us to observe that are we ensuring that finishing the task is also equally important finishing it right way where i am able to get the right feedback where i am able to rightly analyze and see what all can be done to make it more better whatever task look at the shortcomings look at the highlights and all that so finishing the task look when in fact this this comes to any task even if we plan for some kind of a function at our own family let us check what is the focal point is it just that the function should happen or all the preparations prior and after the function is over are also taken into account that will give the complete picture of that task and are we planning to that level are we able to look at this task from the initiation point till the end point in totality and that's how the entrepreneur will look at it emotional resilience is also something which is very important where we are able to continue in spite of all challenges and setbacks right we we might be assigned some task in our own organization now in our own organization we we might have a team but some team members are not working up to the mark somebody is getting unwell so many things can keep happening now what is my own state am i able to continue in spite of all what challenges and setbacks am i ready to accept my own mistakes maybe i i made a wrong decision at one moment am i able to accept that am i ensuring this emotional resilience within myself 
all that is an integral part this emotional resilience is very important for any one of us where we are ensuring our participation and we are taking that responsibility also so we are continuing with the task and every moment we are accepting our own mistakes while trying something and we are not harsh to ourselves look how can i do this no it can i can also do mistake the other can also do mistake so this emotional resilience is something which is a very important part and the feedback system taking feedbacks regularly within our own classrooms within our own organization within our own task whatever projects we are involved in right doing more than what we are assigned to and not less than what we are assigned to and this feedback which is very very essential right i may be trying to do things in one way but that feedback mechanism helps me to think of n number of ways now all these key points listed are coming with this word of caution right these these qualities of an entrepreneur right starting from taking absolute ownership taking initiatives doing more talking less all these are coming with this word of caution that if we don't ensure right understanding right feeling i may end up using these for some kind of accumulation some kind of over indulgence where i over evaluate myself and under evaluate the other so at the back of it this right understanding right feeling that is the first thing to be ensured any entrepreneur without right understanding right feeling may not work towards societal development and we see that is what is happening around there may be so many who might have an idea but without this right understanding right feeling might have landed so much trouble for themselves and everyone else understanding our own basic aspiration aspiration of this happiness which is different from excitement understanding this aspiration of ensuring this prosperity every moment which is not accumulation so this entrepreneurship is a responsibility i need to ensure that harmony within and contribute ensure my right participation and not trying to get happiness from outside with this harmony within i am able to take up the responsibility ensure that right participation and with that right participation i am ready to share things with others and contributing facilitating towards the process of team development and societal development so all these qualities of entrepreneurs we have to ensure that at the base of it lies the value the right understanding and right feeling and then only i can really ensure my participation and contribute towards societal development with each one of us ensuring this entrepreneurship skill this feeling of being an entrepreneur and working together towards the comprehensive goals where we ensure right understanding right feeling at the level of every individual prosperity in every family fearlessness 
trust at the level of society. Coexistence at the level of this nature and existence. So that each one of us can ensure strengthening these dimensions of human order. And we can see extension of our own self, starting from individual to family, to family clusters, village, village clusters, nation, and the world. In fact, we can just see even though we might not have seen each other physically, yet every week we all with this sense of responsibility are collecting together, looking at proposals, discussing our own self-reflections, sharing things amongst ourselves, facilitating towards each other's understanding, working on our own process of self-development. As team, we all are growing together. We, we all can see these steps for ourselves. Can we see these for ourselves? So to sum up, whatever I've been able to put together in the form of these proposals, which I'm exploring for myself. I'm looking at each of these proposals and trying to explore within myself. This self-development, which I take complete ownership of. With this self-development, working towards team development, which eventually leads to societal development. Going back to that same chart where we look at the human education sanskar process leading to personal transformation and then eventually to societal transformation. This societal development means I'm working towards fulfillment of human goals, ensuring my working for the various dimensions of the society. Wherever I'm engaged, whatever my professions are, am I ensuring this holistic perspective in my living? And my sincere effort undertaken to fulfill the human goals is this entrepreneurship. So we all can look at ourselves and we can Reflect on these seven key points. These key points, we can have that by that video is available on YouTube. And we have tried to look at these key points with this holistic perspective. So looking at these seven key points to help one become an entrepreneur, starting from absolute ownership of the task at hand, whatever task comes at my hand. Am I taking absolute ownership? No complaints, no excuses, no reminders needed for me. Am I taking more and more initiatives? We, we need to ask that to ourselves. Am I doing more and talking less? This law of extra, finishing what you start, which is very important. Otherwise, we do start so many things, but we end up leaving them halfway. this emotional resilience, able to accept others' proposals also, starting to verify things, checking our own conditionings, looking at our own sanskars. So this emotional resilience and feedback system. We have tried to look at entrepreneurship with a background of the holistic perspective ensuring that with this exploration, we all can work on our own process of self-development and then team development and societal development. So with this, maybe we can 
take up the questions we we have referred to the book the textbook which we are using and this key points we have taken from a talk by mr deepak bajaj which is just one of its kind and there might be other talks also available this was just to look at this entrepreneurship with more and more clarity and getting a holistic perspective of this for societal development so if there are some questions we can i can try to take few and we all are together exploring so maybe you will be also able to give your own perspectives to this namaste didi bahut hi badhiya raha aur mujhe bahut acha laga aapka jo bhi tha explanation badhiya ekdam excellent awesome आपका जो लॉ ऑफ एक्स्ट्रा था ना उसी के बारे में मैं आपको बताना चाहती कि परसों मुझे इमरजेंसी कॉल आया जज से डिस्ट्रिक्ट कोर्ट पुणे कि सेंट्रल जेल में आ जाओ इमरजेंसी है मैंने बोला ठीक है आती हूँ मुझे नहीं बताया एजेंडा क्या है आपको शेयर कर रही हूँ मैं आप देखिए कैसे हुआ को है कि आपका और मेरा सेम हो रहा है लॉ ऑफ एक्स्ट्रा दे सेड कि ना हमको पांच तारीख अक्टूबर को सेवन हंड्रेड फिफ्टी एट प्रिजनर्स को रिहा करना है तो आपकी हेल्प हमको ये चाहिए कि आपको हम हॉस्पिटल का एरिया देते हैं जो पेशेंट है वहां पे उनको हमको रिहा करना है और हंड्रेड है आपके लिस्ट में आपने उनको जाके बातचीत करनी है और उनको रिहा के बारे में बताना है कि उनको घर भेजना है हमने पांच तारीख तक तो आपको डिटेल कलेक्शन करना है क्या क्या करना है वो सब बता दिए तो मैं नहीं बोल सकती कि ये मेरा काम नहीं है मेरा एक्स्ट्रा काम तो ये थोड़ी है कि भाई मैंने करना है मैं कुछ भी बोला नहीं मैं टिफिन भी नहीं लेके गई थी पानी भी नहीं लेके गई थी मैंने बोला ठीक है दीदी मैं कर देती हूँ यस सर यस मैम मैं कर देती हूँ हमने कर दिया दो बजे तक पानी भी नहीं पिया था तब सवेरे आठ बजे से हम लोग गए हुए थे पानी भी नहीं पिया था तब तक दो बज गए वो लिस्ट तैयार हुई लिस्ट सबमिट करी और उन्होंने बोल दिया कि अभी आप घर जा सकते हो और कल सवेरे फिर से आ जाना काम है बस इतना ही हाँ जी बोल के हम चले आए अगले दिन कल मैं गई तो उन्होंने बोला जो भी आपने डेटा कलेक्ट किया है ना ये कंप्यूटर पे फीड करना है मैंने ये नहीं बोला मुझे कंप्यूटर नहीं आता या मैं क्यों बैठू मैंने कल क्यों नहीं बताया आपने कुछ नहीं बोला सब करके दिया उनको सब हो गया अभी मेरे तरफ से मेरा डेटा हॉस्पिटल का रेडी है की मेरे पेशेंट जो मैंने किए थे वो सो कैदी थे वो सो के सो मेरे रिहा हो जाएंगे पांच तारीख को अक्टूबर को बाकी लोगों ने भी किया वो सब अलग अलग एरिया था तो मेरे प्रिजनर्स को जो भी थे वो मतलब मेरी पहचान नहीं थी कुछ नहीं लेकिन जो मैंने बातचीत की वो प्रिजनर्स से जो उनके चेहरे पे मुझे खुशी दिखाई दी रिहा होने की वो मैं आपके साथ शेयर करना चाह रही थी कि जिस तरीके से मैंने बात किया जस्ट एक, एक एग्जांपल मैं बताती हूँ कि वो भैया जो थे अंदर उन्होंने कुछ गुना किया होगा पता नहीं मुझे मुझे सिर्फ प्रश्न पूछना था कि आपको रिहा होना है तो आपको सरकारी वकील चाहिए या आप अपना प्राइवेट वकील रखेंगे तो उन्होंने बोला कि मैम हमको ना आप ही चाहिए तो मैंने बोला क्या बात है भैया अल्लाह मेहर करे आप आ, उनका नाम सलीम था इसलिए मैंने बोला अल्लाह मेहर करे आपके ऊपर आपको मैं जरूर घर ले चलूंगी आपके जरूर ले जाऊंगी इस तरह से बात की है तो वो इतनी खुशी उनके चेहरे पे दिखाई दे रही थी तो आई कुड फील कि मेरे दिल में हारमोनी है तो मैं आई कैन शेयर दैट हारमोनी एंड आई कैन सी दैट हारमोनी इन अदर्स आल्सो थैंक यू दीदी गिविंग मी अपॉर्चुनिटी टू शेयर जी वेरी थैंक यू एवरीबॉडी इन फैक्ट वी कैन सी द स्कोप ऑफ एंटरप्रेन्योरशिप इन एवरी डोमेन ऑफ आवर लिविंग जी 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 एंड दैट इज समथिंग व्हिच वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड दैट this entrepreneurship is something which we can do in our everyday living ji 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 that will make us more fulfilling at every end ji 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 that is what i wanted to share because see the nice. domain is different totally different i don't know those people they don't know me but the way i spoke to them with the help of uhb family members uh, guidance and my self exploration and uh, transformation i could see the happiness on that person's uh, uh, face and eyes that he wants to get out of here and he has to go home and meet his family members that is what i wanted to share very nice sharing didi yeah namaste didi namaste sabhi ko uh, didi uh, i also uh, felt that whatever the principles uh, principles we are uh, here uh, what we are we are we, are, we have uh, discussing i uh, seven key points actually these seven key points are relevant at each and every endeavors of life 
uh, whatever the uh, goal may be, uh, even in the um, skill domain part of life, uh, if we are having certain goal, uh, certain objectives, uh, certain dreams, then its first responsibility is to take the full responsibility of life. Uh, before exploring uh, the uh, before coming to the uh, exploration of human values uh, in the uh, month of last december 22 i um, joined a course uh, of a life coach dr joshna singh See, uh, there also i learned that its first for our first duty is to take the food 100% responsibility of our life so uh, and taking more initiative doing more and talking less all these law of extra finishing what you start emotional resilience feedback system all these principles actually fit uh, well suited these fit well uh, suit well to uh, to achieve each and every objective of life so uh, it it is uh, good for uh, our self exploration but it is equally well suited to each and every of uh, uh, each and every goal setting uh, in life even in the skill domain and so it's it is truly said once i have listened from uh, mohan Pira over here that uh, usually a way of living so <laughs> today uh, it got uh, means uh, proved to me from all these seven key points thank you didi thanks a lot nice nirupam didi in fact what we have to look carefully is that with a holistic perspective I, I can see all this coming in my way of living automatically which makes me an entrepreneur every moment and I can see my own expansion in this sense. It's very nice. Um, actually I have to doubt about the transformation. Can you clear about giving me life example about the transformation? Are you talking about this, Didi? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, this transformation or this process of development or progress is when I'm able to ensure this shift within me. That is, I move from this lower domain where I am with these assumptions within me through the process of human education when each one of us work towards the comprehensive goals. We are able to ensure this transformation within ourselves. This, this is in a closed loop. When I work for human consciousness, I ensure working for human goals. When I work for human goals, I eventually land up with living with human consciousness. So whatever task I've taken and hand, right? This task of transformation also. Now, that task, I have to take complete responsibility of my own transformation. And in this process of transformation at a personal level, I am mm -hmm. contributing towards societal transformation too. It is bound to happen. I'm passing it on to my next generation. My next generation will be far more developed in terms of understanding and feeling because they'll get so much in the form of traditions. Right? Look, we, we don't, we take a very trivial example, but right now we don't yes. have to teach a child how to use a mobile phone. Yes. The child is already equipped to use a mobile phone. A very trivial example, not directly connected, but we can just see how things become so easy. Now, when I'm living with this feeling of relationship, I ensure that my next generation is able to do it much more easily than what I am doing. Yeah. And that is this human education process. Means you are saying that you have, you have to change your thinking process by the trans transformation. So I need to ensure living with this human consciousness, understanding of harmony at each and every level of my being. Mm -hmm. That is when I work on myself, I am in this process of transformation. Each one of us yeah. is taking that journey for ourselves, right? Yeah. So, ma'am, uh, that your right understanding, then your uh, second, you have given the option that relationship, then physical facility, right? Yes. Uh -huh. 
actually are saying this is the actual order that after after rights understanding then comes the relationship then comes the physical facility suppose accident is occurred uh, suppose accident is occurred in front of me okay suppose right understanding will be there that yes i have to have to have to do they have to uh, uh, send that uh, fellow to hospital or i have to uh, involve involve myself in that okay so suppose i have to arrange ambulance or whatever may be okay so in this right understanding after right understanding the pg i think ji so in my own living right what comes at a priority we have to check that when we say physical facility at third priority it is in terms of the efforts we are our time and effort the time and effort that we are putting right are we putting time and effort to ensure right understanding yes. and level of self right are we putting yes. time and effort to ensure the right feelings in relationship the priority order is in terms of that when you have the right understanding then you will make the decision accordingly if there is some kind of a situation which need your attention immediately with right understanding you will be able to decide your role yeah so the priority is for right understanding yeah that okay that right understanding is the first order is okay i am okay. doubt about that that second and third order ji so so we will take again that trivial example which we have taken in the workshops also a number of times right so if you have a room why i am telling that ma uh, excuse me why i am telling that one i have attended earlier one uhp workshop uh, okay they have given me the example of that accident when i think about uh, after that the workshop okay I, I, uh, i thought that uh, my co this question came to my mind that yes he he has given me the example of this case actually that accidental case okay but i thought that after in the in this case either after right understanding the relationship coming i will think that either that fellow is related to me or not i have to think that or without thinking that i have to use the physical facility ji ji now right now what you are thinking is arranging the physical facility for the other but when we look at living yeah. with human consciousness it is utilizing the physical facility for one's own self right whatever uh -huh. i am able to use for my body so uh -huh. what comes in a higher priority so suppose i am hungry and the other person is also hungry the food is available only for one person right now if i am strong and the other person is weak who will get the food If I am strong, the other person will then I will definitely get. Let us, get let us consider two individuals. One is strong, yeah. one is weak, and there is food only for one. Who will get the food? The case is that weak will weak weak should get. Okay, but no, no, strong will. It's not about should, Didi. It's not about should. What I am asking is that there is food for one person. One is strong, other is weak. Who would get the food? Not should. Right. Strong, now. Huh? now when i say that the strong person is the mother and the weak person is the baby now who would get the food can we see the shift with relationship clarity within me i am able to put relationship at a higher priority than physical facility that is something which each one of us can observe uh, yes okay ma'am uh, it is it's for so now, only the now the day. example which you were giving was that a person huh. has been with an accident right huh. that is in no that relation case, when there is no relation so when as long as it. as long as i am not aware of this feeling of relationship this relationship is from one self to the other i am related to all but when i am not clear with it i may take a decision that let that person lie on the road and i may leave because i am not clear with the relationship right this relationship is something which i am not able to see but the relationship is already there once what i observe that relationship ji ma'am ma what you are telling the is it right i will leave that person to die didi what i am saying is when someone is able to understand relationship one is able to ensure the physical facility for oneself 
as well as for whom one feels related but if i don't understand relationship probably i'll prioritize physical facility as compared to relationship that's what i'm trying to put okay. am i able to put that to you yeah put that uh, yes it's okay but in the cases i i may this uh, things will change i think that's what i'm saying when you see the relationship your relationship will also always come first and physical facility will come later but when you don't see relationship there may be a possibility that we prioritize physical facility that mistake may happen that's what i'm putting is it fine didi okay but i still i am doubt ma'am ji so i have to work up on that uh, maybe in the next weekly meeting we can have more hmm. discussion when we talk about relationship hmm. because because ma'am when the relationship comes to comes in between okay then some maybe there is maybe uh, of uh, wrong decision maybe will happen okay after right right understanding if everything is okay we can use by the physical facility every cases okay so we should not use the relationship at the time i think so let let's let's get more clarity about what relationship is right so when yeah, we yeah. Like discussion on relationship we'll take up that yeah. in the weekly meeting will that be fine with you okay 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 that's fine ji so once we understand relationship means right feelings feeling of trust feeling of respect so we'll have more discussion in weekly meeting okay ji nice didi okay thank you ji geeta didi over to you didi thank you so much for this enriching session 